94.1. I'd say that's a pretty average weigh-in for, for recently, 94.1. That's good, and that means we're gonna be on track. By yesterday, I had 5,000 calories. I ended up with 5,000 calories because I had an extra few snacky poos, a couple extra squares bars, ended up with 5K calories. So today, gonna hit 4,800, gonna keep going at that rate. And then I'm probably gonna hit, I wanna hit 100. Like I actually wanna hit 100 kilos, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stomach the fact that I'm gonna be 100 kilos and I'm gonna look in the mirror and be like, this guy is out. Like, this guy is like, cause my body fat is gonna be higher, right? You can't just keep gaining weight and keep gaining muscle and keep gaining weight and keep gaining muscle. It's like impossible, right? So I don't know if I wanna be able to get 100 kilos, but I want to hit 100 kilos. It's just such, it's just been like a, like a number I've wanted to hit for years. And I've been like 98.7 or something in the afternoon after eating all my food, after drinking all the water and everything just before bed. And I was like, oh, I'm so close. And then, but, 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 but I was so like, my face was like out here and like my love handles and everything was just like a little bit out of acceptable for me. So anyways, we're gonna make some breakfast. Gonna make the turkey rashes, bagels, and have a couple of snacks. Do I even have any? Oh yeah, nice one. I don't have any fucking Rice crispy Squares. Anyways, if you're not liked the video yet, please go ahead and do so. And uh, I'll see you in a sec. 280 for three, 280 for three, 280 for three, 280 for three, 280 for three. Please, please. All right, the only, the most I've done, I've hit 300 recently, 300 kilos. I don't know if you follow me on uh, Instagram or TikTok. You might have seen it, but I've not seen it. Doesn't matter, I've hit 300 kilos. Now in the past, I've also hit 300 kilos, so it's not like it was a PR. And the most before that, I've ever done for a set of three, I think it's 270. I've done 280 for a set of two. So, so if I do 280 for a set of three, that's gonna put me, you know, up there. Like I reckon 280 for a set of three sounds to me like about 305, 307, 310 and a push. So uh, I don't wanna take that much pre. I take, oh, I take too much every day, you know? Like I literally, one scoop is 375 milligrams of caffeine. And I had like, so one scoop is 15 and a half grams. I have 17 grams usually of my pre-workout. So I'm like pushing it. And then just then I think that was 18, which means it's definitely the 400 milligrams of caffeine, which isn't good for you, all right? Don't do what I'm doing. This is this is like um, temporary stuff because see, as I'm increasing the way, no matter way, I'm increasing like my stim levels, my fucking everything levels. And then um, as soon as I'm done with this bulk, I'm going right back down to like having just a normal scoop relaxing, not pushing everything because there's only so much time that you can push your body for, right? You can push training, food, and, and everything else for only for, for only a short amount of time. So my bulk is just gonna be like, bulk, 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 until I just literally, I'm like falling apart, then I'm gonna deload, I'm gonna do a maintenance phase where you just eat maintenance calories, and then like not training hard um, in that time, and then do a cut probably and then just chill. That's gonna be the plan. But so far, 5,000 calories or thereabouts. Pre-workout every day, heavy on the pre-workout every day. Heavy on the lifts all the time. That's how you get it done, mate. This is the new Gymshark, by the way. It's called Intergalactic. It's coming out at the end of the month. So can you see the back? Gosh. This is the Intergalactic T-shirt in either L or XL. I think it's XL, but I like stuff loose. And um, I've got the Intergalactic, Intergalactic training joggers as well. Which are like, I wear one, one pair of joggers, which is like the 10 year anniversary. They're thick, right? They're thick material. They're loose and all, but they're thick. These are like thinner. So I feel like these are even better because they're thinner. Like now it's warmer weather. When I wear those 10 year anniversary joggers, believe me when I tell you, after I come back from the gym, I like my, my this area permeates like I'm homeless. Like it smells. Um, and I'm also just sweating all the time. But in these, they're loose. They look really nice. People keep asking me where they're from. It's not released yet, right? But anyways, um, speaking of releasing stuff, I told you that the design um, is finished for my clothing. The production's gonna go through in a few days because I'm waiting for the manufacturer to send me like a video of what the t-shirt print looks like and everything. Um, the custom packaging, uh, the tags and all the t-shirt and stuff. I'm gassed. And then uh, Overdrive's coming um, in, a, in like a week or so. Blue Raspberry, a restock of the lemon, a restock of the watermelon. Ah, oh, millionaire! Not that I touch any of the money, I don't actually, by the way, let me tell you something about the, 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 the pre-workout stuff. I plug the pre-workouts and I, I sell the pre-workouts and I do all that I can and like the, the clothing's coming and whatever and there's gonna be loads of different expansions that are coming but the whole point of it is to collect money to open a gym. So I don't touch any of the Chikara money, all of the overdrive money, every single penny. I haven't touched any of it. I haven't used it, I haven't done anything. It just, all the profits go into a bank and they just chill, right? Obviously taxes get paid and they just chill. 
I'm going to collect money, collect capital, collect the dough, and then once I have enough of the old dough, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna purchase a unit, like a big unit. I need I need quite a bit of money, right? Obviously, it's gonna be expensive, um, so it's gonna take like a couple of years, a few years. Get a unit, get gym equipment, open up a gym, bosh. That's the plan. But in the meantime, everybody can enjoy pre-workout. I can enjoy pre-workout. We can enjoy the, the clothing that's gonna come. We can enjoy the fucking good vibes, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm gonna down this because I'm waffling. I'm gonna head off. I got some new headphones, I don't know if you can see, but they're the Sony WXM5s because I had the earbuds, which are the Sony WXM4s, which is the generation below, but in earphone form. Earphone form. I used one of Lucy's headphones. One of, both, on my head, I listen to music. And I was like, shit, this is gas. And also, these have the added benefit of like, you have these on your head, it's very clear that you have earphones on your head. It's less likely that some geezer in the gym that wants to chat to you is gonna chat to you, which is a win-win, because they sound good, and nobody talks to me. It's really good, because I, when I'm at the gym, I wanna train, and like, listen to my music between sets. Um, and sometimes people walk up to me for whatever reason, like older people or whatever. If it's one of you guys, I love you. It's literally sweet. But, like, people just at the gym, they're like, you alright mate, how are you? Good. Better, better, better before you spoke to me, to be fair. Alright, let's get to the gym because being here on my own and like taking pre-workout and like my heart starts going and I start... I need to leave. I get, I get like nervous for lifts because I, I keep replaying it in my head. Like what I'm gonna do and then every time I do, I can like feel like 90% of the emotions that are gonna go through me before, during and after. So just thinking over the lift again and again and again makes me like emotional and get going. And I'm literally just like gonna hop in this car, drive at 150 miles an hour, get to the gym. Probably do set one, cry, and quit. That's it, sick. The work over the last couple months, what was it? Just struggling to get food in. That, that, whatever just happened there, all worth it. Literally, I was meant to go for 283. Picked it up, I was like, wow, that feels like, the warm up before felt good. Nothing in comparison to like what that felt like as soon as I picked it up, I was like, wow, that feels fucking incredible. One, two, three, four, five, I was just going. Huh? I don't even know what, I don't even know what came over me, but, only doing one set of that because this Saturday we've got the event coming up and I need to pull. I'm gonna pull something, right? Like 320, 310, 350, whatever that might be. I'm not even, at this point, just anything over 300 should be like routine work. Um, I'm just really excited, so no more deadlifts. That one set, I was gonna do two, but because I went so crazy on that one, I'm thinking recovery space, right? So I need to recover for Saturday. Um, should be recovered for Saturday because it is Sunday now. I'm gonna have like five, six days. Gonna hop on, do legs. Not nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Just like I said, because I need like all I can get from that one event. Because um, it's my event, so I gotta do something crazy. Um, let's go do legs, rest the legs. Easy. 
easy. That was fucking sick. I actually cannot describe the feeling to you. I know that some of you guys that when you lift, it like means something to you. Like when you, you work towards something and you achieve it and it's like, or you surpass your expectations, you just, you're just overwhelmed. You're like, just so happy about everything you've done, all the struggle that you had a little bit. You had those little days where you're like, I, should I really be like carrying on? Should I like, is this, is this like, is this, is this what I want to do? Is this like uh, where I want to be? And you lift and you're like, it just, everything makes sense. Wow, wow. That feeling that I got, that the feeling I get when I lift, it's just, it rarely happens with anything else in life apart from like just being under a bar or having the bar in your hands. There's nothing like it in this world that will ever top the feeling of just going in, lifting something, surpassing whatever you thought you like you were possible. It was possible. I can't even speak. <laughs> it's insane. It's actually insane. I feel so fucking happy about that. And the fact that I was only going to meant to go for three and I got five and I'm just wow and there was nobody there was nobody there there was there was a couple of people lucy wasn't there or anything it was just on my own the music hit right the bar was feeling right the 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 my my head i was in the right space unfucking believable boys if you're if you're literally just just find something that drives you whether it's whatever movement it is one movement a squat a bench a deadlift a overhead press a row anything if it drives you to come and if it drives you to go to the gym every day and fucking smash it find that movement and and rinse it for all it's worth because there's nothing like in life that feels as good as hitting something like that <laughs> fuck <laughs> Woo! let's go all right i'm gonna go home because i'm literally so gassed i can't I literally i'm just gonna like drive at 100 fucking 80 miles an hour back home oh <laughs> in a bit boys <laughs> I had to swing by the shops. I needed some uh, some Rice Krispie squares because I literally ran out yesterday because I go through these. Like with every meal, I told you yesterday that with every meal I just have two. So there's like four or five meals a day depending on what's going on with my meals. So I have four or five, eight or 10 Rice Krispie squares. Can I count? Literally times by two, Dave. Ah, Jesus Christ. I can't shake off the feeling, by the way. I feel like I'm just, I'm just like constantly cracked. Like I feel like I'm like walking around like wired and I'm like, Licking my lips like an absolute crackhead, but either way, the way to sort that out is to get a meal in me. So, meal, classic after training meal. It's gonna be, let me show you, it's gonna be a sirloin steak, a ribeye. What am I talking about? Ribeye is a higher calorie, so a ribeye is like 500 something calories, a sirloin is like 400, so I have a bit of that. It's also higher fat, that's why it's uh, higher calories. It's also tastier, which in my books, that's a fucking win. And I have thicky rice, so I have uh, three of these, so two there, and then I have another one of those. Bang. Bang those in there, that makes it 1,100 calories. Two Rice Krispie squares makes it 1,300. Easy work. It's not like that easy, but it's about as easy as it's gonna get in terms of bulking, you know what I mean? You like my tower, by the way. Sick. All right, in a bit. All right, so a lot of you ask, is there any way to get like calories in really easily? I know I keep talking about calories, but I eat steaks, right? And I know I'm in a very fortunate position to be able to just like afford multiple steaks a day, and that is completely out of the norm and not a normal life to live. But before, if I was gonna get calories, the best way, a substitute for a steak, really simple, and it's actually really cheap, 20% fat mince. It's the cheapest type of mince because it's the highest fat, and it's got a ton of calories, right? 200, uh, 200 grams is 20% fat mince. It's probably gonna be as much as the, uh, the sirloin right here. With a bit of rice, rice is cheap as chips, like seriously, rice is super cheap. Bang it in that, and you've got a really simple, really cheap meal. And the way to spice it up, right, you, you get some seasoning on there. You can find like some, some sauce or some ketchup. It's quite cheap as well, right? And then you have a really cheap bulking meal that's gonna have like 1,200 calories. A little snack on the side or, or some fruit or whatever if you wanna be a health nut on your bulk. Um, and there you go, you have an amazing meal. But I have steaks, you can have, uh, like I said, 20% beef, uh, chicken thighs as well, um, drumsticks, anything that's higher fat, it's gonna be super simple to get down. Just don't go silly with the fat contents. 
in your food. I would say aim for like a 50% carb, 20% to 30% fat and the rest in protein, right? So you're gonna get your protein anyway. Say you weigh like uh, 180 pounds. You need to get 180 grams of protein, thereabouts. I wouldn't stress too much. And then you get some fats in and then you, you try and get that 50% carb intake, 50 to 60%. That's gonna be the best split for performance. That's what like all of the best athletes do. It's a, the, the carbs drive performance. So you wanna be eating a lot of carbs, you wanna be eating um, your protein intake, and then fill out the rest with fat. And if you just choose higher fat meats uh, for your protein, and then have a lot of carbs with it, it should even out to about 50% carb, uh, yada yada fat, yada yada protein. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So there you go, there's my tip for the day. But I'm gonna enjoy this steak. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Having some water with squash. Another thing, really easy to get some water down here. Get some squash, zero calories. Sucralose, fucking aspartame, whatever you wanna be complaining about. Um, there's been studies you would need to consume such copious amounts of artificial sweetness for it to have any effects, like negative effects. You'd have to slam like, I think it's like 30 Diet Cokes a day for it to have any effect, negative effect. To even start having negative effects, okay? Like a little bit of aspartame or sucralose or fucking stevia. It's all the same shit, basically. Um, it's basically safe. Just, obviously, you're not gonna be slamming 30 Diet Cokes a day, unless you're me on a cut. Then you probably will. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this, because it's about to get cold. And I'm gonna have two Rice Krispie square bars. See you boys in a bit.